And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Crimson Braum. Now that I have Vladimir's, we can try a more mid-range version of a Vladimir deck playing Vladimir with Braum. And just with Freljord in general, where Freljord um, has a lot of spells that um, kind of reward you for doing damage to your own creatures and we're really kind of going on for that route here so we're going more with the crimson cards also we got crimson curator um crimson disciple crimson aristocrat so i'm just kind of putting those together for all yard gives us take heart grants a damaged ally plus three plus three we can use avalanche to damage our own units we can uh, pump up the toughness of our creatures again with blood sworn pledge and elixir of iron and then we also have Scar Mother Verena at the top end. Whenever she survives damage, grant her plus three, plus zero. Pretty good looking deck. This is a Mogwai special. Um, and uh, somebody in chat the other day was like, oh, hey, if you want to play Vladimir decks, check out this one. It looked really sweet. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to check this one out. We got a Tavern Keeper can heal an ally three. That could be us. So we could gain three life if we need to. Or we can put that on the toughness of one of our creatures. And we got Death Lotus, deal one to all battling units. So yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be dealing damage to our own stuff, having it survive, flipping Vladimir. Um, and of course with Braum it's good because you know if Braum needs to survive damage, survives 10 total damage, Braum transforms, and then every time Braum would survive damage, we create a mighty Poro. Alright, so that's our deck. We're going to be playing nine rounds in ranked. Let's see, with Crimson Brom. All right, here we go. So, so far we've had two really good 7-2 decks. And we struggled a little bit more with the Puff Cap Brew. Three and six. We'll see how we finish up with our Vladimir Braum deck. All right, so Ezreal, Elnux, probably don't need Avalanche. Honestly, maybe don't, need, well, let's see. No, definitely want Elixir. Like, is, I don't even know if Braum's good here. If they're trying to use a whole bunch of removal spells and everything and don't have the creatures. Well, we got Braum anyway. Here you go, mister. I'll PM it to you. I'll whisper it to you. There you go. There's. I just whispered that code to you in case Let me show you what Arrow didn't know how to, to whisper. Toasted3D, what is up? Delicious. Attack. All right, so we got Noxion Guillotine that can kill a damaged unit. So, like, we damage something with, like, Avalanche, for example. Hmm. Another Noxion Guillotine. Not really what we want for this matchup, though. Hmm. Uh, left for a snack? I guess I'm just going to play this thing as a 2 3. So they could do like three extra damage, so seven total. If I block with Braum, I can only have Braum go up to seven. Ready to 
torches. Attack. Card still broken. Um, come on in. Good times, good friends. What could be better? Best case scenario is they cast Get Excited targeting Braum. Darn. Is this burst burst speed? Okay, yeah. Basically we're gonna lose one of that mana, so I'm just doing that because we don't so we don't lose the mana. All right, two, 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 there. We'll lose our two tavern keepers, um, but it does set up avalanche, wipe from the board. Does set up noxious. We can use one noxion guillotine to kill two things, also. Pass and see what they do. <clears throat> yeah, that buff is permanent. Yeah, with that other. that Yeah, it's just grant the two things plus zero plus three for good. Not for a while, at least, nice. LOL. No, playing this Legends of Runeterra instead. Bio, Peligroso. <laughs> Nine damage to this. Uh, all right, I guess it's gone. I think it can survive a lot of damage, but nine is maybe too much. <clears throat> Maybe just a tad too much. I still have so many cards in hand. Attack. Don't blink, or you miss me. Mm. Watch. 
Watch and learn. I guess pass. They're, they're definitely casting this thing. I have the mana to play everything in my hand. Oh, two to me. Charge. Not even killing my two one. Oh, I can't wait. Well, we're gonna get Ezreal. I'm, you know, two for three for wanting myself basically to get rid of Ezreal. It's probably not gonna pay off over the long run. I don't carry change. them still being at 10 and me having nothing. It's not me. It's you. Them having a lot of somethings. But that the Noxious Guillotine card did not look good. Just wasn't this isn't the avalanche matchup either. I had to waste a lot of cards to try to set that up. I thought you'd never ask. Just surrender. A million cards and an Ezreal in play. All right, so, you know, I won't change the deck yet, but that Noxious Guillotine is on the cutting block. You know, it's it's right there. What's what's this CS they keep on saying? You hard mull for CS versus Ezreal. Three times CS and didn't see one. I don't know what that is. I thought the Braum was going to do good, but the Thermogenic Beam is just too much damage. You're going to have to, like, type out the card names. Culling Strike. Okay. Yeah, because Culling Strike would be removal for... Um, just get this out of my deck. I think I want to keep this take heart. Yeah, Culling Strike would be removal for Ezreal. Yeah, taking a break from Arena, but um, this is a new game, Legends of Runeterra. It's been out for about five weeks, if, if you haven't tried it yourself. I, I honestly think it's, it's better than Magic, and I wrote about that about a week ago now. Um, if, you, if you haven't checked this game out, it's free to play. It's... It is pretty awesome, and I recommend it. But yeah, so I'm, I'm playing now. Stay safe. I'll take it. Blah. Let me show you what I can do.
So I'm likely going to be just casting Avalanche next turn. Like, I go straight to attacks. Then it's their turn. They take the two. And then play some creature that dies to Avalanche, and then I Avalanche. Like, they play Zed. Just Omen Hawk. Oh, it's... Yeah, I'll play this Curator first. It's risky. I could... Uh, yeah, man, I would have passed. See, I... I wanted to just pass, and then they play the two drop, and then I play Avalanche. That's what I wanted to do, but it's just, it's a little risky. Because they just don't play a two drop. Well, that worked out. That is the card against Kinku Wayfinder. That worked out pretty well. Never mind, rewarded. Yeah. The best avalanche possible. All right, so we got another Crimson Curator in hand. They're just passing. Brom is on the job. There's a 5 4. <laughs> Don't want any trouble. Do they you call that sneaky? Hopefully killing it. No. Almost. Ooh. Vladimir is at three out of six. I'd never keep my guests waiting. I know a way. So basically just killing one thing and then doing what damage to that thing. I'm going to have seven mana next turn. They're going to protect their flyer? Like this 2 1? Ah, recall. Embrace. So 
seven mana. Hmm. What will you have? A bag of your warmest milk, my friend. So many lines. So many options. Oh no. That's bad. That is bad. Yeah. Straight up bad. My shield is my sword. This is fun, yes? Interesting, they didn't play anything at all. So the reason why this is like real bad is that they have the, the life linker. They have the, the flying life linker that they just gave plus three plus three. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Or that thing. That's pretty big, too. Hmm. Winter's claw will purge the weak. I think we could probably kill them. I think we're I think we're good here. You know they have discipline of whatever that gives it plus three plus zero. That's only eleven, and we're at twelve, so we're at the perfect life total in that regard. Talk about your dad. Be grateful, I even know. This thing has overwhelm. It's going to be attacking for a lot of damage. Never keep my guests drinking. They cannot strike what they cannot see. Wow. Call the weak in fight. The bloodier, the better. First, we fight. Have you met my shield? Sometimes I see hot just needs warm smile. <clears throat> all right, so we can we can pull the life linker all the way over to the side with Brom. I'll take care of this. So this is them taking. I think too much damage.
So Vladimir's gonna do four damage to them, put him down to four. Oh, I guess we can show here. Like right now, so right now it's negative one. Because this is gonna pump up to be 11. So it's gonna trample over five. So we're gonna do five trample damage. All right, so they have to do that. Um, give that plus three, plus three. We'll grant this damage ally plus three, plus three. Now back to doing lethal. And there we go. All right, so that was a pretty sweet game. We got that... We got a couple of good avalanches, especially that first avalanche was incredible. Yeah, so after yeah after Vlad levels up, it turns in Vlad turns into a six six instead of a five five, but then also gets regeneration. So if you level up Vlad, then you get to regenerate. Golden chest. Ugh, that was not a good golden chest. Two commons and. 90 shards. I guess we had some more shards there, but still. Okay. So we're playing Crimson Brom. We're one and one. I think I'm going to have to just re-upload that puff cap aggro, because it's just not... gonna try that now okay let's see playing against the same kind of deck I don't know death lotus could be really good honestly in this matchup it's Definitely possible I should be taking keeping both Death Lotuses. I just don't really have stuff. Alright, we're gonna do some Titan. All right, let's see. Crimson oh, oh, Aristocrat. Cool. We've got double Death Lotus again. I'm out of their league. Finish leveling your second area today. There you go. Now you have all Shadow Isles and Freljord done to level 20. Awesome. Let us get going. They cannot hide. <laughs> it's not me. Show me your best. <clears throat> Alright, gonna take heart. The Braum. So now it can be a 3 8. I wish I had one more mana where I could Death Lotus all the battling units. Gross. Or I could Death Lotus and then double guillotine. I've dressed for the occasion. I'd ask 
your name, but I don't care. Well, the bad news, I'm taking 10. The good news is, I guess I can double guillotine this next turn. I also just spent three cards getting rid of there, too. Uh, some some decks I make myself, some decks I don't. This one was a Mogwai deck. Um, like I made I made the Vladimir Rally and Puffcap Agros from earlier. But as I'm getting more comfortable with the game and getting a bigger bigger collection, I'm going to be making more decks myself. That's what I, I am known for with card games. I like this jeweled protector. Shh, quietly. Dumping for the road. Let's see. to understand I matter <laughs> this one's mine oh please It's just better to do this way. No. Oh, wait, what? Why am I thinking? I'm at six life. What am I doing? Doesn't even matter. I don't have very much life. Alright, one and two. So, one, one against that deck, which I do think is the best deck in the format. So, I'll take a one and one against it. I had too many pumps. For me there. All right, so there's only the two Noxia guillotine. It's just both times we've drawn them, we've drawn two. There's only the two of them in here. There's two transfusions, and I do think that should probably be three. And. I don't know. It feels like we should have some creature that costs one, right? Like, even if it's just one creature, shouldn't we have a one drop? Maybe not, because we have avalanches. Maybe we don't need it. Oh, I may not have I may not have updated the deckless command. Here's the the correct link. Sorry, TJ. That's the link right there. I'll try anyone. Will of Ionia is definitely really good against our strategy, though, with like this pump pump kind of stuff. Like whenever they Will of Ionia my Brom, that was that was where you could see it, it start going wrong. 
try to understand. I matter. Six mana. Edwin, come here, handsome. Hello, dear. What have you got us into now? Delicious. Just a will of Ionia. That's all you need. Just or a purify. They cannot hide. You must be Lord Vladimir. And you must be Upper. Yay, fun game. That was fun. These Bogle style decks are getting pretty popular though, like when my opponent's playing. Uh, talked about that whenever we were playing the Heimer Lux control, like how good Purify was. Karma. So spooky karma. Okay, I need to find... Puff cap aggro right here. Let me show you what I can do. Attack two. Two has connected. The order rewards its faithful. Edwin, come here, handsome. Hello, dear. What have you got us into now? This card right here is just super, super good. Three mana, two, two, elusive draw card. Delicious. That card's pretty incredible. So they drain one, make a spider. We get a crimson card in hand. 
this damage will happen. We'll maybe get another Crimson card in hand. Master. Did it not just survive damage again? Why didn't we get two Crimson units? Or did we? Maybe we did. Maybe we didn't. I didn't notice. No suffering. So we may end it. Okay, let's try this again. All right, trying the puff cap aggro video again because it didn't work the first time for some reason. Where there is life, there is hope. Karma. We got six mana. Every single time we draw a Noctis Guillotine, we draw the other. Every single time. And they've always looked really bad. They don't look good, that's for sure. Puppy, you want to come up here? Come here. Are you, you going to come up here or not? You can jump. It's just blood, darling. Oh, there you go. Harvey's joining me too. I'm petting Harvey. Yeah, I think that's the combo is Death Lotus Guillotine, but it's so slow and so much mana. My turn. But yeah, but yeah, you're right. I guess that's that's supposed to be the combo. You do one to the unit and then that and, but you're still you're spending like two mana to kill something. I don't know. I have an ally, the random ally that died this round. That card's good. That card's good. Hello, my All right, so we leveled up Vlad. Be able to have the regeneration. It's either, you know, like that or Scar Mother. We'll just play the the Vlad and, and Bank of Mana. I think they're they're pretty similar, but we'll just play the Vlad Bank of, Bank of Mana because we can maybe kind of catch them by surprise with double Crimson Disciple, and then attack Vlad Trigger on these Death Lotus on these. Uh, they're just passing. I like your style. I like your face. I can't reach you when you're that far away, Harvey. Seven mana, so no ruination. Blood isn't a toy, dear. People are. Oh, 
Where can I find a full body? If they mattered, I'd let them live. Yes. So I could take heart and keep this thing alive. By force of will. They're probably playing something first though. And we'll we'll see what they got. I, mean, I guess if they block, do I still interact before this resolves? I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess so, because that whole the whole stack happens at the same time and then damage happens. Grant all battle battling followers ephemeral. And that's followers, of course, so Vladimir will not get ephemeral. They just go down to one just before even other damage happens with all those triggers. Vladimir dealt three. Um, each of the other creatures dealt four. All right, and Crimson Braum is two and three now. That was a pretty sweet turn. That's the kind of turn that, that we're playing this deck to, to try to have for sure. Okay. So yet again, our third match against the Kinku Elusives. Let's replace this, replace this, and I guess I keep these two. I guess. It's kind of slow. Yeah, I think this is the most popular deck, but for good reason. I think it's probably the best deck. I like this board. What? Whose board is this? Is this Freljord's board? I guess. By all means, get in this way. The Freljord board? Yeah, I like that one. Do not fear the shrouded path. Okay. Is that all? Hang on, sir. Get that out of here. Do not deny me. We go as one. Oh, please. I'm gonna try this to try to get Zed out of here. You know, that's, you know, kind of a, it's over-costed for, for what we have. But they, of course, can have a lot of tricks also. Okay. Wasn't as bad as a discipline. They would give it plus three, plus zero. 
Now it's still alive and it's damaged, and I can use Take Heart. My life for the order. Yeah, Zed's real good. You must be Lord Vladimir. You must be Upper. Hopefully, Vladimir carries us. We're gonna need the help. Because they still have six cards in hand. Extra Quite a lot. Got it. That was a really good one. Where can I find a full body of bread? That was a really good one. So the problem with attacking with the other stuff. Like, if I attack with the other stuff, this turns into a 2-1. They can, like, trade Omen Hawk with it. This turns into a 2-2. Two -two. They can have the Wayfinder kill it. So, the good part about that, though, is, you know, like, those other creatures they got are not flying, so they only have the one elusive right now. That's not elusive, though. Brom is on the job. <laughs> this was a League of Le Legends game to be pretty easy for Vlad to carry. It's probably a pretty cool Zed Vlad deck. Maybe not. I don't know. Time for a leap of faith. Oh no. All right. Well, so much for them only having the one elusive. I just put seven more power of elusive in play. Like we, so we have to do sixteen damage to them next turn, and that's just not. That's just not going to happen. <clears throat> Crimson Curators have seemed kind of slow. They follow the wrong master. Stand behind Brom. Mm. One Mother. It is easy, see? Cards don't help. Shield? 
Because unfortunately, like we don't get to after like damage is gonna happen after this resolves. Like I need I need this to do the one damage and then take heart, give this plus three plus three. That's what I need. But I don't think I can do that. But it, it just doesn't matter. Like we're, we're like if we can't do that, we're not gonna survive. But even if we can do that, it doesn't matter. Like all they have to do is play one elusive creature. Yeah, so it's basically just just double checking to see if I could. But no, I, I didn't think I could. Alright, so against elusives, we have to draw like our removal part of our deck and our tricks and stuff like that. Just drawing these three mana three threes, they're just just embarrassing cardboard against the, the elusives. This doesn't feel like the best way to play Vlad. Unfortunately. The Vlad deck we played yesterday, we went 6-1, and then the Vlad deck, to, the other Vlad deck today, 7-2, before this. There's just, these are just a lot of not good cards. Wish they were better. Death Lotus could be decent against Spiders. We did beat Elusives one time, but then we lost all the other ones, however many times we played against this. Yeah, doing good. Yeah, doing good, uh, Lashlari. Um, yeah, started playing Legends of Runeterra here instead of Magic. I am uh, real big into this game. I think this game is, is just awesome. And I uh, really recommend it. I think it's kind of the future of card games, online card games. And thanks, mister. Yeah, so that's, that's what I wrote about of like why I think Legends of Runeterra is so good there in that Google document. All right, so hope you know. So this time we're gonna do the the Brom take heart uh, thing again. Last time they had Will of Ionia to bounce. What could they? I mean, they gotta have. You are safe with Brom. They just gotta have a barrier, right? Barrier is the only thing that I can think of. Okay. Still only six power. So they went to Black Spear. They have another black spear and no, I guess no. They, they're just not gonna be able to kill it. Yeah, they can't kill it. Looks like they probably had like the do one damage, which wasn't enough. Cool. All right, so we lost one of those kind of games earlier with our opponent just playing um, the 2-2 two -two flyer, then double standalone to make it really big and rally. And this time we just played a Braum made it really big. 
All right, I'm going to take Crimson Curator out of here. I wish I would have shuffled the Vladimir away. I'll try anyone. Avalanche. I love a taste Avalanche. Okay. We'll just take the trade. We couldn't block there right now. I honestly, I just, I didn't think that they were going to uh, block. I thought that was a pretty good chance for us to get some free damage in, to be honest. How can Brom help? <laughs> they just passed. They didn't attack. Too fearsome. Oh, I should have done this first. Oh well. Oh, you live, probably. Probably should have done that first. <laughs> Got him. Well, that all worked out. It is easy, see? <laughs> Just attacking on in here, huh? Never keep my guests I like where we're at with this game. I like where we're at here. <laughs> Whirling death. That's a good card. <laughs> If they mattered, I'd let them live. Good luck. Have fun. Leveled up, bro. And Vlad's pretty close to leveling up now, too. Alright, we can just drop off both curators. Finally, someone with class. A pleasure to see you, too, my dear. Yeah, so some creatures have this ability called Challenger, which is this little hook here. And if you have Challenger, you get to decide who blocks it. it so yeah, it's definitely a pretty powerful mechanic. Let's go here, here. Take six. I'm just gonna throw this thing over here. 
clear up some some ways for some more mighty poros. Because whenever Braum survives damage, we're going to be making three threes. Grant that. Plus two, plus two. Behold, my lord. Need this mechanic in MTG. <laughs> Goad, yeah, Goad's an ability, not a card, but yeah, it's. I think it's the same kind of thing. Wow, killing the Hecarim to draw two. It's a sad day for Hecarim. Okay, so we're going to have I think I just pass. Cool, we're gonna have another mighty poro now. Strength. Vlad has regeneration if we can just not have it die. All right, upon surrender, four and four. Oh yes, we're coming back. We're coming back. All right, one more match. get that winning record oh no yet again the elusives the deck that we think is probably our worst matchup let's keep the two drops see what else we get okay avalanche the one the game that we won against the elusive deck avalanche was certainly a big part of it Yeah, this is either our fourth or fifth time to play against it in these nine. Hang we won one. I'm not I'm not sure. Is it either four or five? At least at least four, but maybe five. The dark beckons. What a great avalanche. Take that three for one. Thank you. Mm. You play the standalone Elisa deck? We played against that earlier. And like with Rally, Person just played a three mana two two, you know the the drew a card and then double standalone it, turn into an eight eight and then you know attack rate rally attack rate and I was dead. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. Yeah, I think I do think this is the best deck that we're playing against right now too. I think this deck's really good. I think this and the Ezreal deck, I think the, those are the two the two that I have one in you know like that I think are the, the two strongest. A 
Is it the mustache? Who knows? Don't ask how I got it. Walk softly. Strike quickly. You are safe. Don't know why they're attacking there. A lot of mana. They may just not block. Think hard. Think strong. Looking for fear. It's a fast spell. Okay, do one damage here. Give this plus two plus two. That thing strike this. Oh, come on! I'm still doing stuff. Bleh. Gotta play faster. Hello, what have you got us into now? By all means, get in the way. I go unseen. I so don't have good options, do I? There's always a way out. Creatures are so big. So I can use Whirling Death to have the 7-4 kill the 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, I can pull the 6-6 six, six forward with the Braum. Reward is faithful. 
don't have enough mana for Scar Mother Verena. If I could just play everything in my hand, play Scar Mother and the Aristocrat and then the Death Lotus. <clears throat> Still gotta deal with this 5-2 somehow. Alright. Things are too big. Too big. So we found a, a... Weakness of our deck is the Kinku Elusives deck, which is... You know, the, the, the best, most popular deck in the format looks like a really bad matchup for this deck um we went besides that we did pretty good though because we went four or five we went like one in three or one in four against that deck so besides that we were either we were either three and two or three and either three and two or four and one in the other matches besides elusives I think if you count, if you count like the, I think it was, I think we played against it four times and then we played against the, uh, the pump spell elusive deck also and lost that one. I think, so I think we were one in four against those. And so we were three and one against all like the non elusive decks. Anyway, um, I liked the, the Crimson Aristocrat was okay. I liked that. Elixir of Iron. Like, so, like the Freljord cards looked pretty good. Elixir of Iron, Take Heart, Avalanche, and even Bloodsworn Pledge. I liked all those cards. Uh, we only drew the Bjerg once, and we were playing against Elusives, and we are just like, and we had a Vladimir in play, so it was just really bad. Um, but the Bjerg, the Tavern Keepers were pretty average the curators are pretty average um death lotus pretty average guillotine pretty average all that stuff kind of meh i really really like transfusion and i think that that should be a three of um but that's about it i wish we had like a one drop but i know like there's there's the one mana o3 that grows but even i mean maybe we should just be playing that because it's a one drop like right now like the metagame is pretty fast um it's i don't know if i have any this card the unscarred reaver the metagame is just really fast right now like a lot of aggressive decks and so like maybe we should just be playing this especially if we play another transfusion and another crimson aristocrat i liked i kind of liked both of those cards And try to get out a little earlier. It does survive Avalanche. You know, basically you can... I think we could, like, cut the Bjerg. Um, Scar Mother looked good. Scar Mother did look pretty good. I wouldn't mind having a third one of those in here. But maybe maybe curator is just kind of too slow like curator and tavern keeper like these two i don't know i'll have to see but yeah um we'll have to see but yeah the uh the elusive deck like this deck's too slow for elusives and you know has too much stuff on the ground and not uh not enough interaction for the air or like at least good enough interaction the avalanches against them are awesome but besides that whenever they start pumping up their creatures um I don't know exact, you know, I don't, I don't know the exact, uh, fix for that necessarily, but that was the weakness of our deck.
Pitaro, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Pitaro. 11 awesome months. Um, but there we go. All right, so that's Crimson Braum. Um, yeah, if you're so if you're playing this uh, deck on, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're playing this deck yourself, let me know how it's going for you in the comments. I know uh, you're like, this is a Mogwai deck, and I know that uh, Mogwai is a great builder that has a lot of people usually playing his decks. And uh, so if you're if you're uh, playing this yourself, let me know how it's going for you. If you've kind of co come across the same things, if you're if you have any uh, any suggestions for the Kinku elusive matchup, you know, feel free to put that in the comment section as well. All right, but that's it here for uh, Crimson Brom. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.